Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I uh, posted a video regarding our ROG Phone 2 and 3. Uh, for today's video, we'll be doing an update for ROG Phone 2, which is good news for all ROG Phone 2 users. And as we can see, here's the change log of that. It's an updated security patch, uh, December 2020. It added the support for the Kunai 3 gamepad controller. It also adds auto activation of lock touch function in Game Genie. This is where the lock touch function will be turned on after a few minutes when idle in game. It also supports Volti for both India and US and now supports 90 FPS in PUBG Mobile. It also fixed an issue where WhatsApp call could crash the application and where notifications would not pop up when using Microsoft Themes. So, uh, as usual, uh, just download the update on the description. I'll be putting a link in the description below. Uh, then, as soon as you download that, that update, go to your internal storage. Then, it, it, it should pop up in your downloads. So just long press on that and move it to your internal storage and click OK. So when you go back, it should be here. This is my old update, so let's delete that. So it should be here. As you can see on the date below here, it's 12-17-2020. Uh, that's all you have to do, but bear in mind you have to be on the latest version before you update because this is a small update. This is a FOTA update and not the full update. So it's version 2012.65. So you must be on the point ninety nine version of your ROG Phone 2. If not, update first. Check my last video, update to the to that version, then update to this version in order to be on the latest version okay uh, sad to say I won't be able to I won't be able to try it out on my phone because I already sold my ROG phone too but I'll still be giving you guys updates for that even though I sold my phone I'm using the ROG phone 3 now and I'm waiting for the new Snapdragon uh, chip so that's why I sold my ROG phone to my daughter was the last person using it and she switched to an iOS device so right now I all, all I have is my ROG phone 3 and my iPhone so but don't worry for all you guys out there who still has the ROG phone 2 I'll be keep on sending updates and whatever for your for your ROG phone 2 I'll also be answering questions regarding that in terms of uh, overheating issues regarding the ROG phone 2 uh, usually this happens when you're not using a cooler and playing long games so it ends up uh, damaging your hardware so imagine a gaming PC you're playing a gaming PC without any cooling fan it would certainly burn up your your motherboard so if you intend to play long games always use a fan uh, me for my rug phone 3 I always use the black sh black shark cooler because that's the best cooler I've, I've been using and I never had any heating problems auto shutdown issues with that so highly recommended for me even on my rug phone 2 never had any issues with that so just be sure uh, you treat your phone properly don't overclock it too much because most games doesn't need that high a processor speed or a GPU speed to run perfectly. Our phones could perfectly run that game. Okay, so it's just a short video. And I hope you got the instructions well. So once again, as soon as you got it in your downloads folder, just move it to your internal storage here. Okay, so once it's once it's there already, 
Just restart your phone and follow the instructions. And you should be on the latest update, okay? So, until next time, thank you guys again for your support. Merry Christmas to all of you. And God bless. Thanks, guys. Bye.